All right, hey guys, welcome back. So uh, this evening, as you can tell, well, we ain't using that one. We're using this one. We're going eel pout fishing. So I'm gonna explain my setup and also the set up on the lake once we get out there. I use a 27 inch Fenwick medium action rod. The lure is made by Big and Nasty Tackle. It's glow in the dark, shines bright for a long time. That's what you want for eel pout. The line is a 10 pound fire line. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but I got a double barrel swivel. It just uh, helps prevent line twist. And the reel is cheap, it's made by Celsius. It works, it's, yeah, it's just a lower end reel. And then the, uh, as far as once we get out there now, what you want to look for, at least from what I've gathered, is super steep break next to deep water. Now, I don't know what depth exactly we're gonna be at. I'll kind of tell you that once, well, I will tell you that once we're out there. And then uh, I do know as far as what I've researched is we're coming up onto the spawn. So it's going to be kind of, kind of uh, interesting. I'm hoping, I'm hoping they're biting good, and they are fun to catch. They fight like a son of a gun, uh, and believe it or not, they they eat good too. The uh, I've actually I've actually eaten them, and I, I prefer them fried. And they are phenomenal eating. Really, really white meat, and yeah, I'm pumped up. I am. I'm hoping they're biting. We'll uh, get out there, stay tuned, and we're gonna go to know. We got one on. 30 feet of water. Oh, 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 taking drag. <laughs> First one of the night. Crap, this thing is fighting good. We're just contemplating should we go shallower or deeper, but we're in 30 foot and just hooked one up. Oh, I got him right below the ice, too. Yeah, try to turn his head. There we go. There we go. Heck yes. Oh, there it is. There it is. Heck yes. That's a good eater. Real good eater. Using cut, cut sucker for bait. Yeah. Hopefully get some more like that tonight. Twenty-two foot. Twenty-four foot. Very nice. Oh, there you go, scoop them. You have to do the old scoop there. There you go. Oh, not a bad one. Let's check them out. Oh, yeah. Not bad at all. Pretty good fight. I wasn't bad. He came up like a, like a log at first, and then he got close to the top, and he freaked out. Alrighty, nice. Alright, we're moving. All right, we're wrapping up. It's quarter to one. Uh, we did wind up with four fish. Caught another one that you guys didn't see hole hopping. Yeah, it's just a slower night. 
went all shallower and deeper and I don't know, these fish just aren't moving. So yeah, catch you guys here in a little bit when we start cleaning them up. What I do is I'll make some cuts just so I can peel this skin off. I use the pliers. I'll grab my bowl real quick. Pretty simple. Come right behind the head here. Get just below the skin. Or break through the skin, I should say. They're really not that bad to do. Come back and... Oh, I'm going a little deep, but that's okay. Make a cut back. Come down here. Go right along the tail. I have these sitting out in the truck. So they are pretty darn cold. Now you're going to come right down this back on the top portion. Like before. Just go right through the skin. Come down. As you can see, I'll try to get you guys in the action a little bit. Oh, you're just not watching my hand. My camera person today is getting a massage. So, doing the best I can. Now, so you got that line. All you got to do here is come up and around on this side. So just go around this back fin. Just like so. Yeah, you guys could kind of get the gist of what I'm doing here. The reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people don't know how to clean them. This is the way I clean them. I'm not saying this is the way you have to clean them. But the skin has to come off. Either you can do it like a regular walleye or whatever and do it that way. You get your knife underneath. Or you can do it this way and just peel it off. Now, just like that side, you're going to come up behind this fin. Oop, come on. There we go. You come up. Connect it. Make it cut right down along here. And then on the bottom side of the, or on the top side of this bottom fin, just like so. Let's see if I can, there we go. That way you guys can kind of see it. What's happening here. A lot of people don't really understand how good these are eaten. They are ugly. I think they got a cool pattern, but yeah, they are delicious. They are a little slimy. I will say that. Okay. Now, so we got those cuts done, we're going to come up right here, grip onto this skin, see, see what I'm doing here, I just start pulling it on, we'll get a better grip, I'm just going to peel her straight on back, straight on back, all the way through, okay, that's guts, or I'll go with the guts, same thing on this side, you're going to grab on, pull and go straight on back just like that straight on back okay now comes the flaying part actually i'll just set that i'll have to wipe the table off and what you do is let me get you guys in the action here just follow right along this backbone Come in here, just like like you would any other fish. I'm trying to get just like so. 
go behind the head, cut down. And just keep coming down. Just start playing this off. Yeah, I see the backbone here now. Just like so. I can feel those bones, I just ride the knife right alongside them. Slipping and sliding a little bit. Just like so. Go up and around the rib cage. So like so. Now if you're not sure if you got bones in it or not. What I like doing is, oh, there we go, feeling. So like, well, for one, this kind of goober up stuff is that belly meat. And I don't really care for belly meat. Just take that out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give that to the cats that like that. So here I can feel, so no bones, no bones in here, but I can feel bones right in here. Took some of that rib cage out. Or either that or that's the center bones. Let's see here. If I cut down. No, I don't feel them. Oh, just a little. Some little bones. Make sure they're out. Just feel in here. Yep, all the bones are out. And then all you do is the same thing to this side, the other side. That's how you clean them. That simple. Alrighty. I'm going to finish these up and then uh, I'm going to have these for uh, supper. Catch you in a bit. Alright, so here, here it is what you want to do. I'm using, usually use um, Xanarans, but I can't find it anymore. So I'm going with Frying Magic. Just get them coated up, put them in. Uh, hot oil at medium heat pretty simple just slap them on in well I'll show them this here a little bit pretty darn simple and then all you got to do is get them to like a nice golden brown like any other fish and uh, take them out and let them cool a little bit and eat them. I'll bring them back once they're done. All right, here it is, all done. Time for a taste test. As you can see, golden brown. Mm-hmm. Really good. Nice and juicy. To be honest with you, I'd rather eat this than walleye. Very, very good. Man, that is good. But that's it. I'm going to have supper. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you to all the new subscribers that I'm getting coming in. Appreciate that. And uh, for everybody else, can you please like, share, and subscribe? I'll catch you later.